Today let's make a few sketchbook drawings. I'm going to draw a couple of reference photos that I'll take directly from whatever posts come up on my Instagram page. I've used Instagram for a pretty long time, I think about five years maybe. And Instagram for me has been a major source of inspiration and of reference photos for drawing. As I was saying, in this video I wanted to go through Instagram and find relevant pictures from friends as I scroll down my homepage. I'll give you a bit of context on everyone as I draw their photo. This one is from an Instagram friend actually. Her name is Sarah Horizon. I've been following her for um, a few years. I don't really remember anymore how it started, but she tends to post a lot of photos of her work as she does some modeling and I, I like that they are quite alternative and really aesthetic. This photo made me want to go past the usual black and white. Most of my sketchbook pages are just black pen on white paper. But for this drawing I wanted to add some color to my sketchbook. I'm doing this by using gouache paint. This paint is Winsor & Newton, which is the most widely used uh, and recommended gouache paint manufacturer. It's really an industry standard, if you can call it that. These paints are really amazing, they're great for professional as well as beginner use. These paints are very true to the tone, which means you can understand the pigment when it's wet and it pretty much keeps the same tone and hue when it dries up, which is very useful. They're smooth, there's no streaks and you can water them down as much as you want to great effect. I think that's basically what distinguishes good paint from lower quality one. I found this photo gorgeous because her pose is so confident and also I love the checkered pattern shirt which I, I just wanted to draw as soon as I laid my eyes on. I also found out as I was scrolling through Sarah's Instagram that she has a passion for music and she's also a creative, she's a sound engineer as well as a model. I also really like this picture's background. From Instagram it looks like this photo was taken in a small Austrian city. I haven't been to Austria yet, but I'd love to visit. I've left a few architectural details in black and white while using the same brush pen that I've used across most of this sketchbook. I hope that this will help the sketchbook remain pretty consistent as I like to have some sort of cohesion across most pages. And I also find it fun to mix different styles, techniques and materials in the same drawing. Moving on, the next photo that I found on Instagram, and by the way, I'm skipping any ads or products or art posts, anything that is not people. And I'm only using photos by personal accounts and photos that people have posted of themselves. So this is Maraid. I haven't actually seen her in a while, but we kept following each other on social media. So Instagram just served me a picture of her. Mairead and I used to work together when I was living in London. She's gorgeous, she has the most beautiful smile and blue eyes. I absolutely love this dress, it just makes me want to paint it. The next photo is of Nicole, Nikki. I followed Nikki on Instagram since we both joined a community support group in the platform. Nikki has also lived in England and this photo in particular is from the Eden Project site which is in Cornwall. It is a really amazing place. I found out super recently that Nikki has also started a YouTube channel with her boyfriend actually. I think it's called Cam and Nikki Travels. I will leave a link to their channel up in the screen so you can show them some love. This is my sister, her name is Inez. She's looking incredible in her summer tan. I love the dress she's wearing in this picture. The contrast of her tan skin with this particular yellow is just stunning. Inez is actually an artist herself, apart from a super talented designer. She does gorgeous digital illustrations. Right, and I couldn't really add Inez without also including my youngest sister, Kuka. Kuka is the life of any party. And in this picture, I think she probably was going out with a few friends. I've drawn Kuka countless times before. She is definitely my favorite person to draw. She was basically born to be a muse. And this is a photo of my friend, Joanna, in a beautiful flowy white dress. 
I really loved that Instagram suggested this picture. It's such a pleasure to draw. Joanna and I met in art school in Lisbon. She's also an artist. She's an amazing photographer. <laughs> I, I messed up the face a little bit. It's always a risk when you go about quick sketches and you start them straight with a pen with no under sketch and you do a bunch of them in the same page because then, you know, there's no way that I'm going to take any of it out but it will be fine. We're not striving for perfection here. So I'm just gonna fill one more page of this sketchbook full with beautiful people selected by the Instagram algorithm. We'll be fine. There's basically nothing that can go wrong. Talking about Instagram, lately I've been a little off of the network. I kind of occasionally post a story, but I haven't used it as much for actually, you know, keeping inspired or as a source of references. I've also noticed that I'm sketching a lot less than before I've started my YouTube channel, which is a little bit counterintuitive because the whole idea behind this YouTube channel is that it will support my creative and art practice. So truth is, making these videos really takes quite a lot of time, a lot more than you'd probably guess. It's a lot of effort to manage filming gear, to record and especially to edit video. It takes me about three weeks to make a 10 minute video lately. And of course, I, I do work full time, so while I work on my YouTube channel, I'm also keeping up with my job routine and uh, kind of work duties. To keep a YouTube channel requires a lot of hard work and dedication. And by the way, if you do enjoy this video, then please give it a like. It's a super easy way to support me and to support this channel and to basically help me make more videos like this. To be honest, this video has been super refreshing for me to shoot. It's probably the most casual one that I've ever done. I'm just having fun while I draw and paint on some sketchbook pages and I'm finding this video very relaxing both to watch as well as to create, really. Usually most of my videos are a lot more complicated to make with different setups, different angles, with effects, but sometimes stripping it down to basics also works really well and I'm very glad that I can spend this time just sitting down and enjoying some sketchbook practice and sharing it with you simply. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy this type of video, I, I might do more of it. I'm also planning to make a special video for when I finally complete this sketchbook. I honestly have only fully completed one sketchbook in my entire life, I think, and that's because I always start a new sketchbook before I finish my previous one, so all of my sketchbooks are only partly done. So to be honest, the chances that I actually finish this sketchbook are pretty slim, but I'll give it my best. And if I manage to do it, I'll make a whole video just to show it in this channel. And if by the time you watch this video, I've already published that one, then you'll see a link to it somewhere on the screen right now. <laughs> no, I didn't think so. It's been really interesting to do this exercise and basically be restricted to drawing whatever post the Instagram algorithm showed me. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one.